nuclear fusion, they've been saying it's been 50 years away for the last 20 years. Do you think that's something we will see connected to the grid in our lifetime? Oh, I guarantee that uh, by the late 2030s, uh, one of the fusion companies will be making a lot of electricity. I was actually just in Massachusetts outside Boston where Commonwealth Fusion System is putting together tokamak called Spark. Do you prefer the tokamak design? Breakthrough Energy, that is my group that's trying to help with innovation for climate change. We're invested in a lot of fusion companies. Commonwealth Fusion with the tokamak is about five years ahead schedule-wise of the Stellarator or inertial confinement. So there's a lot of good ones that are kind of independent, that problems in one don't predict problems in the other. So that's why we can be so confident that several will succeed and whatever the cheapest is will then get broadly deployed. Do you think that it's going to be connected to our grid by how much of a percentage do you think it will be supplying the electrical grid in the nation? There's this huge competition between nuclear fission, nuclear fusion, solar, wind, even geothermal somewhat is doing better than uh, people expected in now. In America? Or yeah, we had a company, okay. Verbo, that just put in their first well. And so all of those will compete. They're somewhat complementary that, you know, when the sun is shining, it's hard to beat solar. So a lot of these other ones, for example, fission or fusion, they'll probably just accumulate heat all the time, but only turn it into electricity when the renewables aren't generating. So they, they get out of the way of the, the low marginal cost renewables.